Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark and friends are back again. Wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you're all fit and well. So, what have we got today? Oh, a hit and run on a 10 year old by a motorbike driver riding the wrong way against the traffic. And he keeps going after he hits her. And it's all on film. Kosamui Airport live stream camera taken offline because it breaches security protocol after police raid the home of a 70 year old expat from England. A tragic 17 college students killed in a road accident in Thailand. Bangkok smog alert has returned to Thailand. But first up, this is weird. Chinese tourists and the Phuket Vegetarian Festival stab in their face. The Chinese Vegetarian Festival in Phuket. Well, to be honest, it's not much about uh, vegetarian food. It's on again one of the most bizarre festivals in the world. Calendar. Now, this is a real what the f event. The Phuket Tourist Association has stated that the Phuket Vegetarian Festival that runs until October the 7th is expecting to bring in around 2 billion baht in revenue. They say that despite the high value of the baht, they're still expecting a flood of Chinese tourists over the festival. The exotic annual festival in the South Thailand Island is also coincides this year with the Chinese National Day. Phuket is expecting many visitors from Singapore and Malaysia during the festival time slot. The festival is very popular with regional Chinese community from neighbouring countries, which is named after the vegetarian food that is consumed over the 10 or so days which the festival runs, and is designed to cleanse the body of evil spirit, and is a cavalcade of parade, marches and religious ceremonies, and piercing. Lots and lots of fireworks, firecrackers. Some of the annual festival is not for the faint-hearted, with possessed men leading marches wearing elaborate piercings which can go from small spears all the way up to petrol pumps. Swords, large metal objects pierced through their face. Well if you're going anywhere near Phuket, there you go, you can have a look at the Vegetarian Chinese Festival. And believe me, it is really different, I've seen this thing, it's really weird. The Vegetarian Festival started about 150 years ago in the Kastai district where the majority of the Chinese tin mine workers were settled in Phuket. They formed such a large proportion of the community that a group of Chinese opera performers were hired to entertain them and their families. During the Chinese ninth lunar month, Phuket was hit with an epidemic of fatal diseases and the loss of many lives. The Chinese performers were also falling ill. Eventually, they had realised that they had forgotten to pay homage to the nine emperor gods in the first nine days of the month. Thus, one of the performers went to China to invite the Khao Ang Lai to Phuket. The next year, the Chinese followed the traditional refraining from eating meat, drinking alcohol, drinking, engaging sex, engaging in sex, quarrelling, telling lies or killing. The epidemic ceased and every year the Phuket people celebrate the festival by stabbing themselves in the face and sticking all sorts of things through the holes that are left there. Hi, it's Mark reporting for Talk About Thailand. Police Immigration and Airport Authorities have closed on a spy cam that was providing real-time video activities at Koh Samui's airport. Police headed to the house next to Koh Samui airport and complaints that a CCTV camera was recording takeoffs and landings at the airport. The authorities deemed the camera to pose a security risk. The camera, one of many that give real-time views and locations on YouTube and this one in particular on Koh Samui for 44,600 followers on YouTube and Facebook. It's called Real Samui Webcam. Live cameras provided foreigners a snapshot of currently in and outbound. The live cameras provided foreigners a snapshot of currently going on around the holiday island. Authorities found 70 year old British man whose passport and work permit were all in order. He works in the detox industry as a health company. He told police that the camera was located on the flat roof and had been put there by a friend. Channel 3 News reports the camera is now offline. 
The airport authorities claim that the camera was a risk to security it's used by many important people. For Super Duper, Mark Leverage reporting for Top Thailand. Why, thank you, Mark. Maybe best to check down the airport's website, which has the uh, fight arrival status, just to be on the safe side, of course. This is tragic news for Thailand. The young and the innocent have suffered again, this time with tragic results. Anyway, this is what happened. 17 Thai students are killed in an accident in the Samut Prakon, just outside of Bangkok. And the driver, who was last reported in a very serious condition in hospital, he was injured when his pickup, which was seriously overloaded, skidded off the road and hit two power poles at Ingao Road, Bang Pri, Samut Prakon, early that morning. The students were from Sisaget College and were celebrating their months long training. A taxi driver at Sisaget reported to the media said that he's seen the pickup speeding out of a soy, which in Thailand means street, and it turned into Bungal Road. When it was on the main road, it skidded and rammed into two power poles and overturned. Police officials from Bangkok confirmed that from witness statements that the pickup was actually speeding and the driver had lost control before the accident. Unfortunately, 12 students died on the spot with their bodies scattered on the road due to the impact of the crash, while another five students died of serious injuries later on in hospital, bringing the total number to 17 dead. The students of the technical college were undergoing job training at a garage it was their last day of training and celebrations were held at the end of their training. The celebrations went on to early hours in the morning. The reportedly drunken students attended a late night early morning show. So they all boarded the pickup to go back to their apartment. So an innocent night of celebration turned into a tragedy for young people of Thailand once again. Bangkok, the city of angels, it's come under a pall of smoke and smog. This is a bit unseasonal, it's um, out of burning season, we can't blame it on burning, it's the wet season. There's something else going on in Bangkok, generating all this smog. It's pretty unhealthy and uh, the indexes, the PMI index, it's a particulate matter, less than 2.5 microns is shooting through the roof. The PMI map tells the story and most of Bangkok's in the red there. The chart shows it going up, continuing up and everyone should avoid all outdoor activities in the red. The cause of the smog is not clear. We can blame it on vehicles, we can blame it on all sorts of smoking, volcanoes, whatever you want, but one thing's for sure there's no clear way of getting rid of it and uh, spraying water cannons in the air well does that really work it's best to play it safe and if you're venturing outside into the smog pick up some masks some um, N95 masks at the local 7-Eleven store or wherever you can get them that'll block 95% of um, particles down to 0.3 of a micron หน้ากากทางการแพทย์ของเรานะคะมี 2 แบบก็คือหน้ากากธรรมดานะคะสามารถป้องa 10-year-old girl was a victim of a reckless and careless motorcycle rider. The little girl was trying to cross the road and from nowhere a speeding motorcycle driving the wrong way against the flow of traffic knocked her to the ground. The rider paused for a moment and then sped off without care nor remorse. The mother of the girl took her to the local police station and hospital. Her condition worsened as she had 
problems with her stomach and wasn't able to stand up. At the hospital, they performed normal first aid and that for her wounds and she remains in hospital awaiting x-rays and the outcome. The police were notified. Unfortunately for the, the fool on the motorbike that had no regard to no one, there was a video of the whole incident on CCTV. So let's hope they catch up with this person and he learns a very valuable lesson in life. Johnny's I am out.